Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Today, I thought I would just give you guys a little peek inside of my day, what I do on the Sabbath, or should I say what I don't do because I don't do a whole lot on the Sabbath. I actually take the Sabbath to rest. And I uh, thought I'd give you guys a little peek inside my world. People ask me quite often, what do I do on the Sabbath? What is my religion? What is my faith? I don't know. I guess people want to put you in categories, but um, my Sabbaths are pretty boring and I like it that way. I usually take my Sabbaths to rest, to study the scriptures. I will watch a sermon or a talk on, you know, either the internet or on YouTube or something. And um, rest, lots of rest. No cooking, no cleaning, no shopping, no buying or selling, no hot food. <laughs> so, um, I decided to put a little video together just to show you guys just a little snippet of how my Sabbaths go. And I gotta warn you guys, it's pretty boring. Nothing exciting. A nice walk, sitting out on my front porch, a um, handful of vegetables out of the garden, breakfast with my grandson. You know, Friday nights we do dinners with the family every other Friday not every Friday, every other Friday. And uh, yeah, just take this time to recharge and relax and get closer to my God. So if you guys are still interested, just stay tuned, take a quick look, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Most Sabbaths, I start off out here in the garden. I take a little walk through the garden I might stop and grab like a handful of peas or something, anything that's, you know, just growing that I could just eat fresh and I give thanks. And then I move on to the rest of my day. One of the things I love about Sabbath mornings is walking out into the garden and getting fresh vegetables. Look at these snow peas, so sweet. Breakfast on the Sabbath is a little bit different. We don't cook on the Sabbath. We don't use the microwave or anything like that. So most of the things that I eat on the Sabbath are cold. That includes things like salads, potato salads type mostly, tuna, peanut butter and celery, bagels, <laughs> um, you name it. As long as I can eat it cold, I'll even make salmon the night before or the day before and I'll eat it the next day. Um, things like that. That's what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, But this morning, we're going to have cereal. Oh, here comes the grandson. It's time for breakfast. On the Sabbath, we don't cook. So this is going to be a cereal morning. And uh, it's going to be kicks for him. And it's going to be great grains. Is that cereal? Mm -hmm. Cereal? No, eat your own cereal. So we also don't eat meat or anything around here. So it's almond breeze this morning. I have ouch, to admit, ouch, ouch. I haven't eaten cereal in years. Ouch, 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 and ouch, I usually have a bagel ouch. or something for breakfast. But... This morning, I'm going to do cereal. Also, every Friday, not every Friday, every other Friday, I host a dinner for my family. We have a Sabbath dinner.
As you can see, everything is still set up from last night because we don't clean up on the Sabbath. Most people take Saturdays to do chores and run errands and go shopping, but that's the day that we choose to rest. So however anything was the night before, it is going to stay that way until Sunday. And then on some days, like today, when my husband is home, who's not a Sabbatarian, I will sit outside and listen to or watch a service because I can't listen to what he's listening to. <laughs> but sitting out here on the porch is usually really quiet and peaceful. And I sit and I watch the birds and the lizards and whatever is going on on the mountainside because most of you know, I live at the foothill of a mountain and um, I can pretty much see it from my front porch. So this is usually my view from sitting on the bench on my porch. So as you can see, we've got the uh, San Bernardino Mountains over there in the background. And then I've got a little mountain right here in front of me.